In what world are fifth graders learning how to write business plans, learning how to produce PowerPoint displays, and learning how to earn and manage money? We're going to find out. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us is John Hancock. He is the president of Junior Achievement of Oregon in Southwest Washington. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Ken. You know what? I'm thinking that most fifth graders around the area, probably everywhere, aren't learning the skills that Junior Achievement uh, is, is teaching these kids. First of all, tell us about Junior Achievement. Sure. Junior Achievement is a nonprofit youth organization. We've been around for a long time, almost 100 years nationally, uh, 65, 66 years here in, in the Portland and, and throughout Oregon area. Um, and we focus on three prime, what we call the pillars, three primary subject areas work readiness, entrepreneurship, and financial literacy for K-12 students. You know, when I was in high school, I remember the Junior Achievement Program, but I didn't realize that it, it really went much further than that. You're saying 11-year-olds are learning all these necessary skills. What's that program called? We have many different programs. The one you're referring to, Ken, is JA BizTown. Unlike when you and I were in high school, when JA was primarily focused on high school kids, mm -hmm. we've gotten younger in, in the last 20 plus years or so. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, we, we have a variety of different programs, but one of our flagship programs is JA BizTown. And JA BizTown is targeted primarily for fifth graders. Sometimes we see fourth graders and sixth graders, but primarily fifth graders. And it is a program that com combines in class curriculum, so that's a teacher taught curriculum back at school, all around how, how do businesses work, how do communities work, what kinds of businesses do you need in a community, and then it culminates in a one day site visit it to our place where we have a replica of, of an American city. It's about 8,500 square feet. I always say not cardboard boxes in the gym. I mean a permanent maybe Disney quality um, style stage set where kids come in and run, these 11 year olds, fifth graders come in and run all the business and civic operations that make up a city. So it's really a little more comprehensive and intense than bring your child to work day. Right, yeah, because if you, if you do a, a bring your child to work kind of thing, the kids get exposed to a job and they get exposed to a business. But in JA BizTown, we expose them to an entire economy and they have to function successfully both as an individual and as a worker in that economy. And how many kids are we talking about? How many schools are involved? Uh, this school year coming up here on the end of the school year will serve almost 10,000 fifth graders mm -hmm. from somewhere in the neighborhood of 120 schools throughout the region. Most of those schools are in the Portland, Vancouver metropolitan area, but on occasion we will have a school from mm -hmm. Eugene or, or even as far away as Medford travel up. So are you telling me you have an 8,500 square foot town during the school year that's bustling then in the summer, you just flip a switch and it's, it's gone? Well, it's funny you ask because for a number of years, yeah, we did do that. And then we thought, man, th this is a great program. It's a great facility. Why, why would we not find something to do in the summer? So long story short, about four or five summers back, we created a summer camp program. And kids can now come to uh, J.A. Biztown Summer Camp in much the same way you would go to any other you know, camps in the area. The focus of our camps is around the same thing, work readiness, entrepreneurship, financial literacy, and the kids do a variety of things over the course of a week. So in the mainstream school program, we get them for a day. In the summer camp program, we get them nine to five, five days in a row. Do you have an, uh, an anecdote you can share as someone who's been through the program? Well, we, th there's a ton of stories that we hear from parents and teachers and kids about what kids get from the experience. But one of the ones I always like to share is a, a young girl who, as a fifth grader, had a passion for making jewelry. She had beads and strings and things at home that she was doing that. You know, probably not uncommon for right. little girls to have this kind of a passion. But post the experience in Jay Biztown, she thought, man. I can actually turn this thing into a business. So she hired a couple friends, increased production, and, and started to, and it just went from there, yeah. John Hancock, thank you very much for being with us on Comcast Newsmakers. From the set of Grimm, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.